Hey everyone, welcome to Smart Investing. This video is the special dividends for March. Uh, video number two of two. This is the first time where I have not seen... Well, okay, in the first video that I made... I don't know how many companies I had, I, I, but there was a small list. I know that. But in this second video which were the last two weeks of march i don't have any special dividends for the last two weeks of march uh this is very extremely rare uh, so i i will say that there hasn't been a lot of special dividends in march uh i don't know what's going on i don't know if earnings are gonna disappoint extremely bad uh, this this quarter, obviously for the banking sector, yes. But other than that, I really don't have anything for you guys. Uh, I will say this. Uh, this is not a special dividend, but the highest paying uh, dividend, this is not for March, but we're in April. Today's April 4th, 2023. And for this company, uh, you rarely see a high payment for this company, but uh, it has paid a huge amount. And the company that I'm talking about is Zim. So, again, this is not a... This is not a special dividend... But apparently, this stock is supposedly having a, a lower earnings being reported for this quarter. So, you can see this extreme movement going down. Uh, I want to compare the special dividend payment. So, that's all we're going to look at. So if we can see here in 2022, the highest payment was 17, the lowest was 285. So if we look at that first payment was in March. So okay, we have four payments in 2022. So they threw out a first payment in April. I don't consider this the first quarter. So this is really in the second quarter. So this is going to go with uh this one so again if they pay three more times i i would expect this to be lower in total i mean for the year for 2023 i expect it to be lower in 2023 compared to 2022 uh because obviously they had higher rates in 2022 um i haven't checked out rates Shipping rates, you know, global rates and all that in a while. Uh, but they did really, really good in 2022. Obviously, you can see those earnings that are being reported. Definitely much, much lower. But um, this is the scary part. I want to see what they report for Q1. And depending on Q2, what the earnings estimates are. Uh, this can be a decent stock, maybe, to add to the watch list, um, and maybe add it for Q2, but this is very, very risky because I'm already expecting a recession globally. Um, if it does not affect it internationally, I'm still going to expect the earnings to be lower, so this is something to watch out for. This is just very, very high risky. Uh, but it does have some value to it as well. That's that's the intense part. Uh, this is just like one of those once-in-a-lifetime stocks where they actually have decent numbers, a pretty good business model and everything. It's just, you know, the earnings reports are earning less, and the way they're earning money, it's on and off, almost like when you're contracting. You know, like let's say, for example, uh, real estate, 
you know, you're doing a new development and then uh, things can be going good because, you know, you're making money on new development, building from scratch, from the ground up. But after that's done, what else are you building? You know, so it almost feels kind of like a hit and miss. Um, that's or I understand the business model. But again, they also depend on their global rates and customers. I don't know who their customers are. This is definitely a company that you have to really deep dive in. Look at the website. See what kind of customers they have. They have to have international customers. And uh, the projections for earnings. That's pretty much it. So again, uh, decent stock to add to the watch list. Very, very high risky. I'm telling you guys now, this is a very high risk stock for a dividend uh, payment or dividend stock to add to your income portfolio. Uh, I, I think I've mentioned this stock several times, but again, um, I'm only looking up to three more months on this stock. I'm going to keep an eye on it from quarter to quarter, a bunch of these stocks and uh, that's the maximum and then the least amount of time, I'd say week to week. So it's hard to um, take this stock seriously. But um, again, just, you know, it's high risk, high reward. So again, um, Zim, ticker symbol ZIM. I know a bunch of people love this stock, but be careful because um, you might get stuck uh, with the bag with this one. So um, if you plan on buying a bunch of shares, um, I'd say do it monthly. I wouldn't even go with weekly. Um, just be careful with this stock. So I like it. Add it to the watch list. But uh, again, high risk, high reward. So I'll see you guys next time.